Hello everybody, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about Joey Stacks and uh, um, Wes Watson and also uh, Big Boy, Big SC Boy, and uh, um, the differences between the three. But one remains on the side of positive, like a, a, an actual positive role model for the the future generation. Not perfect, but nobody is. So you can find fault in, in most people, if not anybody. If you're with them long enough, you can find something that that there's a fault in them. So out of the three. Of the uh, the these these are all uh, YouTube influencers that uh, are all uh, you know um, all three are supposedly juiced. I don't know about Big Boy, but um, Stax and uh, and um, Wes Watson maybe I only can confirm uh, Stax. But Wes Watson probably does the, you know, steroids as well. Um, I haven't seen uh, a Big Boy openly come out saying he did steroids, so you can't confirm that as a fact. Uh, but it, but irregardless, that doesn't really make a difference. It's a person's attitude that I'm, I'm targeting in this video. And, um, and their role on the, the generation, uh, the next generation that's going to take over. And uh, um, out of the three, Joey Stacks is the, the only one that has the work ethic uh, that is, I would say, has multi roles to it um the problem with uh big boy is he he's been caught in various lies about you know the prison time the amount of time he's done he's uh, uh you know supposedly had uh multiple issues with uh previous strength cartel members like Pitbull Torres and uh, um, who is Pitbull Torres is a really awesome guy you should check out his channel um, he's a really nice uh, influencer positive uh, role model as well and uh, um, what do you get left with right when you're you your good people flee you know, you get left with the scraps, right? So you got Big Joe on Strength Cartel. You know, he's like a, a, a pit bull for Big Boy. And then you have Wes Watson, who's lied about the amount of time he's done in prison. The, you know, the, the type of violence he's been involved in. Um, and also the screaming and... Uh, criticizing people about their body and 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 talking about how they have to be meet these certain clear, you know qualifications in all three areas of life which he described as um this guy just being fit wealthy and then i guess containing some form of wisdom or intellect well, Wes Watson is not that intellectual. He just appears to be. Intellectual people don't criticize other people's faults. Their criticism is constructive in nature. Um, cynicism is not a gift. And he's very cynical when it comes to the overall... Uh, you know, overall um, nature of society, like like he's on a pedestal, and and those below him um, 
are are you know below you know that they're subservient to him um here's another issue you have uh faith faith is very important and uh big boy and um Wes Watson lack that area significantly if they had that they wouldn't be as judgmental and um they wouldn't be you know be you know they wouldn't be the scumbags that they they are they're scumbags a scumbag is someone that tries to fill voids in their lives with material things and then criticizes other people for choosing to, to not focus on material things and be okay with just you know ordinarily an ordinary life of you know um an ordinary life of just simplicity or or a minimalistic ideology um you know minimalism is a, is a choice and and in life people have choices so there there is a, a wide spectrum so so you can't judge the very wealthy or you can't judge the very poor and this is where there is a fault in both big boy as well as wes watson but joey stacks possesses wisdom um you know joey stacks out of the three i've watched a lot of joey stacks videos a lot of big boys videos and then a lot of wes watson's videos and out of the three the most productive videos that you uh the average individual or person can glean more information and wisdom from is uh joey stacks so uh i don't know who would pay forty thousand dollars for a wes watson training course but there apparently he's uh very wealthy at um you know all these people you know we're not seeing the the people that are paying forty dollars or four hundred dollars uh, the other people are probably getting nothing right so they're just he's getting he's doing the mr organic you know let's get the money right now and he you know eventually he'll fall off big boy will eventually fall off big boy's products you don't need the the the, the, the time to bleed you don't need the you know dead game and all this other amino bullshit that they sell their products they're useless uh like they're they're to you know they're the stuff in the products i mean if you read the label there it, it's it, it there you don't need all that stuff all you need is like doing compound movements swimming you know you want to get in shape swim that's one of the best exercises, right? Buoyancy. You can lift weights at home. You can eat healthy. There, There's ways to do stuff that is cheap. That stuff that they sell is not cheap. And they're marketing. So Joey Sack has sells products. I haven't checked out his products necessarily yet. Um, so I can't make a judgment on that. Wes Watson is sells you know an ideology that's it we don't know his success rate all he does is criticize he screams at people that pay you know good money to be what to become tr some form of training business you know d let's train train learn how to train you know efficiently and learn how to train and eat healthy and learn you can learn all this stuff the information is available you don't need to spend forty thousand dollars or or four hundred dollars or even forty dollars on all this shit it's just a waste of money this it's just he's good at talking about criticism in judging people he it's 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 a it's a trick it's it's he feeds off think about bully right a bully will bully somebody else because they themselves have been bullied usually by their parents or people that that they uh hold close or significant right so we get this idea that it, we we have to be the macho and you know and show no weakness and blah 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 and look at what it's done in marriage look what it's done in relationships i mean he, he he, he, who who could be a friend of Wes Watson? 
eventually he would, you know, no one could stand a, a, a person like that. So this video, ending this video, just focus on Joey Stacks. Watch Joey Stacks' videos. Spend time. If you're going to spend time watching YouTube videos, skip Big Boy, skip Wes Watson, and go to Joey Stacks. Joey Stacks is going to sell you a $40,000 program. He's going to sell you something. He's going to be creative. He's going to sell you something affordable that you need that, you know, he, he knows that... You know, there's no such thing as a hundred percent success rate, right? We're not, you know, not everybody's gonna gonna follow through, right? That's up to the individuals, but he's not trying to uh, one over people, and uh, I think that's the difference between him and the other two, uh, Wes Watson and uh, Big Boy. So Joey Stacks is definitely uh, one of the the uh, I would say diamonds in the rough so he's one of the people that stand out as the most and uh i believe faith he's faith led you know and and that's important because he's held higher his moral standards are based of this world they're based upon a, a higher power and um he's held accountable by a god that he believes in and uh, um the other two are not they're held accountable by their own greed and selfishness. So th that's the difference. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and you all have a wonderful day. Thank you out.